The Star Class Centennial Celebration. Recognizing the past, planning for the future. Day two for the classics with more wind and more clouds, the final day of racing came to a close. Some were just happy getting to the dance. Sachet was pretty much a display boat. It wasn't really a boat that had sailed for much in the last 25, 30 years. So I spent a couple of time, a couple of months or so, um, reinforcing everything on it, you know, backing plates and fender washers and glue and paste and anything I can do to make the boat so I thought the boat would be sturdy. And uh, it turned out the boat sailed fine. And later on in the day, of course, we had an issue um, with the mast not holding up. Today on the water, a battle in the Woody's division. Oh, it was a great day. Yeah, good breeze, uh, pretty competitive race today, actually. There were three of us that jumped out, and uh, Keith Donald, who we, he and I were tied for second. And uh, we kind of battled all day until the very end, and, and we kind of caught a shift the last leg. But uh, he was leading the first uh, triangle, and then we, uh, we actually caught him the last downward leg. And that kind of finish for a boat that hadn't seen water in 12 years. In the classic division, teamwork was the key. In a very good first race, we were first, wind was up, a uh, good start, and we held the lead for the whole race. You gotta be ready for everything, including the right gear, the right body positions. You can either be hiking or cramped up sitting down below. You gotta hike the lure, you gotta hike the weather. As the oldies come off the water, attention turns to the modern division and the future of the star class. 78 boats moving in, among them some of the best competitors in the world. Well, I think the beauty of the star class is that you've been sailing against these guys before and so you kind of know them and it's great to sail against some of the best in the world, but it's, you know, they're kind of friends, not intimidating competitors. Well, we've got Mark Reynolds sailing tomorrow. John McClausen's also here, Colin Bischel, so we've got top competitors in the class that will be going up against tomorrow. It'll be a much different ball game for me, that's for sure. Don't forget about Bill and Carl Bucken. Each one of them having won a gold medal and a world's championship. It'll be fun. The fun on the water begins tomorrow for the modern stars. Until then, there are more friends to see, more stories to share, and more moments to celebrate.